Welcome back to Afternoon Express here on S3. Oh, the kitchen inspiration is on another level today because we've been speaking about the prawn bowl from the beginning of the show and uh, the truth is I'm going nuts. I'm going nuts about it. Julie, aren't you going nuts about it? Aren't we all a little nuts? <laughs> we are all a bit nuts. Are you not going nuts about it to me? I'm more than nuts. I'm very excited for this recipe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today we are serving it with a spicy Asian dipping sauce. Mm. It's made with clover, go nut, peanut butter. Bring it on, Chef Dumi and Julie. Yes, we're about to make a dipping sauce that's going to work so well with the prawns that you and Balisa did so well in peeling yeah. and cleaning and deveining. So I think the best thing to do, Julie, is you can actually go straight into it and fry up the prawns for us. Mm. I just want to make sure that our temperature is high enough so just while we wait for it to be he to heated uh, to be heated up correctly because that's another thing I think that's important when cooking prawns um, they're not like other meats where you slow and low they're you want to flash right? fry those right is it yeah. because they're delicate well, sure. yeah, and they cook really quickly, quickly. so you don't want to overcook them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it is important to also make sure that our pan is nice and hot. So maybe while we wait for that, I can get started on the dipping sauce. Great, let's go. Now, this dipping sauce is a little different because we're taking an Asian twist. I like that it's different. Yeah. <laughs> we're taking a bit of an Asian twist, and you could definitely do this um, sauce right here, but I'm going to do a little something a little different. I want to actually make the sauce on the stovetop and actually cook it out. One, because if you add raw ginger into any type of dish, it can mm. be overpowering. It will be. So cooking it down sort of tones down the, the um, impact of it. So in fact, uh, I Julie, think... Are, no? you, are, you, are, you, are you always behind the stove in, in, in the kitchen there at your house, Julie? Uh, yes, actually. Yeah, is that your thing? Because I can see how comfortable you are. You almost just sort of take ownership yeah. of that pan. Well, I do enjoy cooking and yeah, it is my my responsibility. Ah, I, love I love that. <laughs> All right, so while the oil is heating up, a lo lovely part is that we've added our garlic, so that'll also mm. sort of give us a gauge when to add our, our um, prawns in there. Mm -hmm. So to start it off, our um, dipping sauce is gonna be using our clover, go nuts, peanut butter. You've got my full attention. You've got, I've got your full attention. I've got so my full attention. I'm adding quite a bit of it because we want it to be quite a, 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 a handsome amount of, of our peanut butter. Mm. So mm. I'm gonna add quite a bit into this. And as you can see, it's quite thick. I'm gonna go in with a lot more in here. In fact, let me put it straight into the pan. Yeah, you know, be generous. I always say when it comes to that clover, go nuts, smooth peanut butter, you wanna make sure that you get as much of it as you can. Because Ooh. of course we know that it's made with 90% choice grade peanuts. It's perfectly grounded. Uh, it's all about creating that smooth, mm. most spreadable peanut butter that is so perfect for lunches, for snacks, for smoothies. But as we can see in today's iteration, uh, for our dipping sauces as well, right? Yeah, definitely in our dipping sauces. So into our peanut butter, we've got a couple of other things. Some of that garlic that we had as well goes in here. And then I'm adding, when I spoke about the Asian flavors, we've got some soy sauce oh. that will, in essence, balance the flavor of everything we've got here. We've got the peanut butter that nice. sort of adds the creamy um, yeah. layer. We've got our soy sauce that gives us the salty layer. Yeah. But if you're having anything like this, it is important to have a balance of flavor. So we've also got some heat okay. from a chili oil. That's going to bump it up. It's going yes. to be a nice bump. What's it, and I some it. rice wine vinegar because we're also using sushi rice for this. So it sort of plays off a of sushi bowl. Of how can one person be so smart? How can you be so, so smart? Uh, Julie, you strike me as the type of person who, in the kitchen, when they're making food, you're always humming and singing. Please feel free to do it here as well, hey? I can see you almost I don't think to you want to hear me. <laughs> and now the oh, best thing about this sauce, I was telling you, you can do it in a bowl and just mix everything up. The yeah. reason why I've chosen to cook it is also it gives you this, where it's a nice pouring sauce as well. So if you don't want it to be too thick if in your dish, where now you feel like you have to literally spread it, mm. you can make it pourable like nice. this, where you can just pour it into your dish and it folds into whatever it is you're making. But obviously, this is just the sauce that we're making here. Mm. Julie is it's on prawn duty. There. And I can see those prawns are starting to actually curl up. How do we tell? Okay, so the, okay. the prawn goes from glassy and translucent to mm. uh, more white mm. and mm. Uh, pink on the outside. And it these are pretty like much done. Those well, we don't want rubber. <laughs> look like it, not taste like it, please. Yeah. <laughs> so before uh, Julie actually puts those there, I just mm. want to add this sauce like I was talking about just to drizzle it in there. As you look can at how see. it pours into, oh, yes. And then when Julie adds everything on there, you're going to have the heat from the sauce, you're going to have the crisp from those fresh fruit, yeah. uh, fresh veggies, and then just the beautiful prawn that's uh, cooked to perfection. How's that smell? Look at that. Ah, right? Oh, the aromas, they are just 
clapping you as you like rock Don't up. Just speak. We want you to taste and let us oh, know. Oh, no, 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 you... please. You don't have to ask twice. You know that I'm going to be there for tasting. Uh, this looks so, so good. I do love the color that our prawns have taken, um, you know, from the garlic, of course, that's infused there. I'm going to taste it. Uh, I'm going to just do yes. this quickly first and then go into one that was prepared for me earlier because I want it fresh and hot and warm. <laughs> Don't even want to wait for the, the veggies. No, yeah. no, no, the veggies, I'll sort them out later. Veggies for who? <laughs> now tell me if you can taste those different levels of flavours that we've got here. We've got sour, mm. we've got sweet, we've got fresh, we've got the prawn. What do you think? Peanut butter can be a tricky one. Yeah. Because she's an overpowering girl. Mm -hmm. But how all of the different uh, uh, elements that you've put together sort of complement yeah. each other is perfect. I didn't see this coming, I have to be honest. Yeah. I thought that's going to be a peanut so butter explosion, like. but no, 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 <laughs> it's perfect. It's almost as if the clever go nut was made for this uh, dipping sauce. Ting. Hey? Smells delicious. I love it. And it smells so, so divine. If you want to cook along with us, go on to afternoonexpress.co.za. Then show us your own iteration at home, uh, how you could use the clover go nuts peanut butter in your nuttiest peanut butter combo. We want to see that. Bring those in. Thank you. It's not working. Ah. I've got an idea. I'll slice, use bread, Ollie. This will get us going. One, two, Go Nuts Peanut Butter. Nuttiness you'll never forget. Made with love by Clover.